Well, here's a trip down memory lane for you. YouTube in 240p, because I lost the battery to my good camera, so I'm using my Pentex. However, I wanted to make this video. Um, I just finished cleaning up a 1964 Olympia SM9. It's a wide carriage model with Congress font. Um, it being a 64, it still has the green Olympia badge. It was changed over to Chrome in 1965, and it was the only year uh, they had that. This is a nice example. Uh, it, I got it alongside uh, various other Olympias, actually. A standard size carriage Olympia SM9, I got an SG1, an Upstrike Remington. There were a few machines. It's been a while since I got those. Uh, I just never got around to servicing them. This uh, machine has uh, a few signs of age and wear, but it's in very good condition still. It has a tiny nick here on the front. And then there are some scratches on the side from the locking mechanism um, in the carrying case. I installed a brand new ribbon. These Olympia SM9s, they were refined machines. They were very well built, very well designed. And they will outlive all of us if they're maintained and used. You see, brand new ribbon. I'm a big fan of these colored cast iron frame uh, or cross members, however you would call them. You have red ones and blue ones on the portables and on the standard size Olympias from this era you would have red and yellow parts. Nice big cover that's hinged here at the back. This typewriter is fitted with a spring-loaded shift key. So the earlier models, the SM3 and SM4, all of the keys in the keyboard were spring-loaded. You can see the shifts are the shift keys are spring loaded, but the actual keys they no longer are on these later models. Touch control here. Got your color selector, tabulator, which is set on the space bar on the SM9 model. If you have an SM8, um, those would be set I think either with a toggle or they're installed on the back. <coughs> Here's your paper support machine details that Olympia was quite picky about the machines um, tab bar guide the machine paper paper guide you got the plastic margin indicator here on the back index card holders they have some wide outs behind the plastic and I cannot get to that because the plastic is molded around the tabs that hold it in place so tried to clean it out as best as I could, but for fear of breaking them, I decided to uh, leave it for what it is. Chrome is an exceptional shape. Left right up. I use this, uh, where is it? This Brasso polish, and it smells like feet, but it works brilliantly. You can see the knobs are intact. These are often cracked. Back. Here, you can see the size difference of the carriage. So normal, normally in SM9, the carriage comes to the edge of the machine. The carriage on these machines surpasses it. Other than that, there's no difference in design. It has an extra uh, paper bill roller, and other than that, it's the same. Get back down. Sorry for the quality of the video, but like I said, I can't find the battery to my good camera, so I hope you're still watching at this point. I'll do a typing sample of this typewriter uh, once I get that back. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Many more to come. Stick around, please subscribe, and have a lovely day.